Good morning, this is Pastor Ken Durham from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, and this is your Saturday morning wake-up call for November 14th. Today's hymn will focus on Praise Ye the Lord the Almighty. Psalm 103 verses 1 and 2 says, Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart I will praise His holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me from the New Living Translation. We owe a debt of gratitude to Catherine Winkworth for translating the German hymn of Joachim Neander. He was born in 1650 and was a fifth generation minister of the gospel, but he was not just born into the family business. As a 20 year old, he joined a group of students intent on going to St. Martin's Church in Bremen to cause trouble during the service, only to be convicted by the message that he heard. A few years later, he became an associate pastor and a rector of that church of the German Reform Church's Latin School in Dusseldorf. He loved nature and would go for worship walks, especially in a beautiful gorge near Dusseldorf. That gorge would later be named Neander Valley. He would come there and compose hymns and sing them to the Lord during this time. And when he was 30, while battling tuberculosis, he wrote these words. Praise ye the Lord the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. Here is yet another hymn that came out of a time when it would be easy to take the advice of the people like Job's friends to just curse God and die. But Joachim Neander chose to seek God and declare his praise to him as long as he had life and breath. Wake up. Don't let your circumstances determine or decide how or when you will worship God. Remember, he is always with you and desires us to worship him in all things.